Hello, my name's Liam Moore from Lynch Plant Hire, and welcome to this exclusive bite-sized look at our slew and height restrictors going across 360 excavators from 2015. Over the last few years, there has been a growing demand for slew and height restrictors across the UK. Lynch Plant Hire now have a number of machines with this fitted to as standard. What is a slew and height restrictor? Quite simply, it restricts the amount of movement on a machine, like the Doosan behind me. A slew, restricting the movement from left to right, and a height restrictor on the position of the boom. Let's take a look and see how this works. Now let's take a look at setting up the slew restrictor. You can set the field of operation as big or as little as you like, and that depends on the site requirements. In this scenario, we'll be setting up a very small field of operation. First of all, put the machine into the position you wish to activate the slew restrictor. I'm now at the furthest limit for the right-hand side of the machine and wish to activate the right-hand restrictor. So we'll push right on the LED monitor. The machine now buzzes to tell me that the right-hand restrictor is active and I will not be able to go beyond this point. To set the left-hand restrictor, move to the left-hand maximum field of position. Once there, push and hold the left-hand button. The machine indicates that the left-hand sensor is also active, so the slew restrictor is fully on. You can now check this by moving backwards and forwards to ensure that the machine does not exceed this limit. You can also see the field of operation set on the monitor by the green working area. To deactivate the slew restrictor, you must carry out the following procedure, but in reverse. Hold the left-hand button for three buzzes. The left hand has been deactivated. Carry out the same for the right. The right hand has now been deactivated. The machine is now set for normal operation. You can check this by slewing left and right. Now let's take a look at setting the height restrictor. First of all, get the boom into the correct position. In this scenario, by coming off the floor by about a metre. Now I am confident in the position of the boom, I need to set the assistant. Go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen that says limit. Push and hold. The machine now indicates that the height restrictor is set. You can check this by trying to raise the boom. As you can see, by pulling back on the lever, the machine is clearly indicating to you that the height limiter is reached. To check that it is working, you can now also lower the boom to the floor. Do this several times to check that the system is in place and operational. To cancel the height restrictor, you now need to go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and push limit. Hold this button for three buzzes. This now means that the height restrictor has been deactivated. You can check this by trying to raise and lower the boom to the floor. As you can see, the height restrictor has now been disabled and you are ready for normal machine operation. If you have any further questions regarding SLU or height restrictors, you can contact our service office on 0208 900 000 option free for service. Alternatively, every machine comes with the operator's manual and guide and it gives you step by step on how to set it up. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.